When people get to know my background that I'm a daughter of sex worker, people see me as a disgrace. I was raped for six years in school, from the age of 10 to 16. I was bullied for my skin color and I was called cow, kawa, cow dunk and kali. The person who raped me put his feet on my neck and said, I deserve this because my mother is a sex worker. They used to tell me, tu padli ke kya karegi? Tu randi ki beti hai, tu randi banegi. But they never see me as Sandhya, who I am today. When a child is born, the society teaches the child they can achieve whatever they want. They can dream whatever they want. This world is an oyster for them. They can go out and dream big, however, whichever dream they want to dream. But this is not true for all the children, especially not true for a dark-skinned India girl who comes from Mumbai's most infamous red light area called Kamatipura. Hi, everyone. I'm Sandhya Nair. I'm from Kamatipura. My mother was a sex worker until I was three years old. Then she left sex work and started doing domestic work so that I don't start hating her because of her work. But I guess the world treated me well enough to hate my mother. I'm a 25 year old standing in front of the world and telling that I hated my mother whole of my life. Everybody wanted to go to school just normally how everybody wants to. Everybody's mother's dreams are to take their children to school, give them breast education, give them the best jobs, mostly office jobs, nine to five. Same, my mother had the same dreams for me. My, I, when I was young, my mother took me to a school. When, I mother, when my mother talked about where she came from, they kicked her out and that said, they don't give admission to kids like us. My mother had to lie to get admission in school. I was a dark-skinned Indian girl who came from Mumbai's most infamous red light area, Kamatipura. And I was reminded every single day of my life that I don't deserve to be there. When I was seven, I started working to support my family. It was, I used to work in fast food chain. I, I went to hotels, cleaning garbages and everything. There was a time where I didn't used to get proper food. So I used to pick up from dustbin and eat. While the world was teaching everybody that this world is equal and everybody deserves an opportunity, I was left alone in the backside of a classroom with a broken branch, slut written on it. I come from a classroom where I was, I was beaten up and I was thrown into the washroom. I was raped for six years in school from the age of 10 to 16. I was bullied for my skin color and I was called cow, kawa, cow dunk and kali. The person who raped me put his feet on my neck and said, I deserve this because my mother is a sex worker. Whenever I had a doubt and I used to go to school to ask for any doubts, they used to tell me, tu padli ke kya karegi? Tu randi ki beti hai, tu randi banegi. I come from a community which was never accepted. We were not normal according to the society. I come from a community which were never seen as humans. Now when I talk about my community, all the people around the world talks about how there is disgrace in this world. The women are working for, like they are selling their body for money. But what I see and what you will see through my lens is a street full of mothers. A street full of mothers trying their best for their children. W waking up, working hard so that they go to good schools so that they get whatever they deserve in this world, not because where they come from, not because where they, what their background is, they shouldn't be stopped from doing that. And I come from a community which has always been stopped. I talk to people around the world now. I go to many stages, talk about my life story, talk about my journey of being bullied, being raped, being sexually abused at workplace, at bus stops. When people get to know my background that I'm a daughter of sex worker, People see me as a disgrace. People categorize me when they get, my, get to know my story. They sympathize with me. Oh, bichari. But they never see me as Sandhya, who I am today. What I have done in my life. I will be always sympathized as poor Sandhya. I'm categorized into these labels of being a victim or a survivor. But for me, I carry that with pride. I am a daughter of a sex worker. And I take pride in that. My mother did what she could do the best for me. Where I come from is a disgrace. I talk to them proudly that my mother is a sex worker and she did her best to provide me and give me the best she could. Well, the world taught me how to eat. There is this 
society of people that taught me how to love and this was secluded from the nor from the normal community today when i am standing here and i talk so proudly about my mother there are a lot of people who will labelize me as a victim or a survivor i do not like to fall in categories as my mother taught me and as all the wonderful women of my community taught me we are beyond our labels when we talk about freedom the freedom of me is being able to accept myself as i am who i am is the same way of taking pride on my mother's work my mother was a sex worker she has a freedom she chose that work and i am here choosing to be proud of it and not to be ashamed of who she was and not to be ashamed of what happened to me because what happened to me was wrong and i don't deserve it no matter where, what background i come from no matter what my mother profession was no matter what or where we belong to we belong to the world i keep telling this to everyone we belong to the world when you see beyond the ocean you will see the world full of opportunity for you the world is a oyster and everybody needs to know no matter where you come from no matter what your background is you deserve this world and this world has to be open enough to be accepting of you so i guess freedom means being accepting of yourself being accepting of where you come from in 2015 i came to an organization that changed my life called kranti kranti empowers girls from mumbai red light area and daughters of sex workers to become agents of social change and happiness kranti gave me a opportunity of getting therapy therapy helped me to take care of my traumas of sexual abuse gang rape rape and discrimination kranti also gave me an opportunity to travel around the world and meet wonderful and amazing people like you all i met so much wonderful people who never cared about where i came from what background i have or what do i owe they all cared about how i make them happy how they are treating me how i am giving the world whatever i got in in written kranti gave me the opportunity to see the world in a different lenses and that lenses was mine and i wrote this in my journey of a book called beyond the oceans view i wrote this book when i was very i was at a very vulnerable state it was my journey from childhood till here where i am today i recently graduated from the most prestigious university called ashoka university with psychology and honors i want to pursue this further and take care of my community the way they gave me and i want to give this to the world whatever i have be it skill talent and the love that i got and this is what brings me here and the most beautiful thing about my journey that i learned is forgiveness when you forgive you grow and this growth has brought me here where i talk to the world and in front of the world around the globe and about my journey it is said that when you educate a woman you educate an entire generation nari sashaktikaran par ye pankhtiyan hamare dil ko josh aur himmat se bhar deti hai aisi hi himmat bhari kahani abhi humne suni josh talks par aur hame usse kafi prerna bhi mili ऐसी ही कहानी है लक्ष्मी जी की जिन्होंने सीएस करके बड़े शहर में वो आए जॉब का सपना लेके पर उन्हें यहाँ जॉब नहीं मिल पाई पर उन्होंने हिम्मत नहीं हारी जोश के साथ उन्होंने कम्युनिकेशन स्किल्स पर काम किया और आज एक बड़ी कंपनी में वो काम कर रही हैं लक्ष्मी जी की ही तरह कई स्टूडेंट्स जैसे कि वैशाली जी नीला प्रणाली आरती और उषा जी ने मिल के जोश स्किल्स के साथ विभिन्न स्किल्स जैसे कि स्पोकन इंग्लिश कम्युनिकेशन स्किल्स पर्सनालिटी डेवलपमेंट फाइनेंस बिजनेस बिल्डिंग सीखकर आज अपनी अलग पहचान बनाई है आज ही अपने जैसे लाखों स्टूडेंट के साथ भारत के नंबर वन स्पोकन इंग्लिश लर्निंग ऐप जोश स्किल्स ऐप के साथ अपनी इंग्लिश लर्निंग जर्नी शुरू करें जोश टॉक्स इज नाउ स्पॉटिफाई एक्सक्लूसिव पॉडकास्ट The audio version of our talks will be available only on Spotify. If you like this video and you like to listen to more inspiring stories like this, please follow the Josh Talks podcast only on Spotify. Tell us what you think about this video and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.